part of this activity for these nine years and look forward to it down the road. You know, as I, as I look around, I see all the young guys that come through here playing baseball, and, and then I see as we continue this, we get start to get more and more legends. Now, you young people, you young guys, you may not know this, but you are in the room. If you look over here at Mr. Randall, Mr. Hamilton, and now we have Mr. Matt Gordon here with us today. So you're in some good company, I promise you. With that, I'm going to turn it over to the professor, Mr. Neil Randall. Thank you, Mr. Brumfield. I like the little that you covered if you're wearing it today. It's great to have you all with us again. Seems like we were just here uh, yesterday, doesn't it, coaches? Uh, but uh, certainly we want to thank Coca-Cola for the Coca-Cola Challenge presented by Powerade. I uh, want to thank uh, the new head coach of the Colin Wolves, Coach Clay Smith, here with us today, uh, and assistant SID at Colin, Mr. Cliff Ferrer. They get to speak to you when you came in this morning. Uh, the Colin East Central uh, South Division doubleheader is scheduled for, that was scheduled for tomorrow, has been moved to this afternoon. And, uh, of course, we've had a lot of weather that has made us make a lot of changes this, this spring. But uh, it's going to be played this afternoon. The first pitch is scheduled at Sullivan Stadium at 3 p.m., so that's why we've uh, moved things up a little bit here today. I uh, want to say congratulations to the Southwest Mississippi Community College Lady Bear basketball teams and Coach Brent Harris as they head to Salina, Kansas to play in the NJCAA National Women's Tournament. Uh, the Lady Bears first games at 8.30 Monday night against Butler Community College out of El Dorado, Kansas. You can hear that game on K106 and on the net at k106.net or you can go to southwestbearathletics.com. So certainly uh, accolades to Coach Harris and the whole Southwest family on getting to the National Tournament for the first time. Well, this is, Mr. Brumfield said, this is the ninth annual Coca-Cola Baseball Challenge presented by Powerade. And I remember uh, back when this was just an idea, James. But uh, thanks to you and Mr. Nelson and all the folks here at Coca-Cola who've made this possible. Uh, for those of you who are not aware exactly how this works, it's the best of four games between Southwest Community College and Kapile Lincoln, the Wolves and the Bears. Nine years ago, the balls team got together and talked about a way to create more excitement and coverage for community college baseball in the area. We knew the quality of play was outstanding at the community college level, and we wanted to bring more people in to experience that excitement. And we formed the Coca-Cola Baseball Challenge presented by Powerade with three goals in mind each year and have worked to improve the challenge each year. Number one, we want to expose more people to community college baseball with emphasis on Southwest and Colin's programs. We wanted people to come to the ballpark and have fun. It's a family experience at the ballpark when these games are played, so fans will want to return to watch these two teams. And as we all know, money is always needed, and we try to help with a cash donation to each team. Thanks again, Mr. Brumfield. With this year's check presentations and with the help of our two challenge sponsors, we have now donated $18,000 split between these two teams in the last nine years. And uh, coaches, I know that helps a lot, especially in this time of tight budgets, and they seem to get tighter every year, don't they, coaches? Our chasing foul balls teams feels we have met and exceeded our expectations each year with the help of our corporate sponsors. We have a new Coca-Cola Baseball Challenge trophy this year, compliments of Marucci, and that's this bat right here that will go to the winner this year. And I believe, how will we do it this year since we've started all over? You've got to win three games out of the four to, uh, to get the trophy. You want to pass that around and look at it. Of course, last year's trophy uh, was, was given to Coach Keith Case, who had been such an integral part of this, this program. 
but the Power A trophy is now in the hands of the Cole M. Wolves as they won two of the four games in last year's challenge. And of course, if they win two, if it's a split this year, the trophy will stay in Wesson. Southwest, you need to win three to get it back. So let's let's make sure we get to get to practice on it and get that taken care of, you bears. Now by the challenge rules, as I said, Southwest will have to win three of the four to get it back, and Colin can hang on to it by winning two. Our challenge gets underway this Tuesday, March 18th, at the ballpark on the campus of Southwest and Summit. First pitch of that doubleheader is at 3 o'clock, and uh, we hope the umpires will be there on time, Coach Kirk and Don. Make, give them a special call and a reminder. Special presentations will be made before the first game, and before each game, we will have a special first pitch guest. The challenge goes to Sullivan Stadium in Wesson on the Colin campus for games three and four on Saturday, April the 12th, with the first pitch at two o'clock. Again, we'll have special presentations and first pitches by some uh, folks that I know you'll enjoy. Again, this year our, our press conference is being seen live on K106 TV thanks to the good folks at K106. Eddie McCaleb back here and the folks from K106 TV also for again this year. All four games will be shown live on the internet. The two at Southwest with K106 you can see by going to k106.net or to southwestbearathletics.com. The two at Colin by the very capable staff of the Colin Computer and Technology Department. You can watch those two by going to colinathletics.com. Today you will hear from the Coca-Cola folks here, the head coach of the Colin Wolves, Clay Smith, and the head coach of the Southwest Bears, Lee Kirkendall. Again, we're glad everyone is here and we appreciate what you do for community college baseball. Up first, our good friend of Chasing Foul Balls who has helped us in so many ways to make this challenge a success, Gary Nelson of Coca-Cola. Again, as, uh, to go back on what James says, we welcome you here to Macomb Coca-Cola. Uh, we look forward to continuing this tra tradition and also starting out with a new era with a new coach, Coach Smith. Uh, again, I want to give thanks to Neil and Robbie for pretty much putting all of us together. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. Up next, the coach of the Kapai Lincoln Community College Wolves in his first year. The Wolves are 6-12 and overall and 2-0 and in South Division play. Coach Clay Smith. Y'all mind if I borrow one of these coolers to stand on? Hey, well, I want to thank Coca-Cola and Powerade for, for uh, sponsoring this. You know, it's a it's a good time. Baseball is a fun sport, and uh, you know, it's a it's a chance for uh, for players that usually know each other because they play together in summer ball. So it just makes the rivalry yeah, a lot better. You know, this thing's been going on for a long time between between Cole and the Southwest and the communities. You know, really support the programs both in Macomb and some areas, and Weston and Brookhaven, and um, you know it's a lot of fun. And, and it's even gone off the field a little bit too with the recruiting rules and, and the things that have changed. You know, we're kind of fighting over the same the same players and and trying to get the same guys in. And um, you know, so it's a good opportunity to continue that. You know, a long, long time ago, um, Coach Ron Polk, when he was at Mississippi State, did a um, started really pushing college baseball and um, you know and it started making an important important event um, showing that it could raise money that they could get fans there and and, uh, and have a good time doing it and you know and next thing you know we've got sponsors like Coca-Cola and Powerade and Robbie we appreciate you you know helping get this together and hopefully it'll continue to be a fun event and uh, hopefully we can uh, continue to hang on to the to the trophy um, I know we've got the pride out of their hands, but 
but um, yeah, it's a good thing to hang on to. So we've got a couple of our, I mean, a few of our players here. Uh, Corey Falk, who's from Brookhaven, from uh, Lloyd Star, um, Philip Lott from Purvis, Mississippi, and Mitch Little, who went to Phi Academy. So them being here and assisting uh, Brian Noble. So again, I know it will, and we can have some good crowds out. We appreciate you guys sponsoring this. Event. Thank you, Coach Smith. You know, Coach Smith said uh, we have good crowds for this. We have phenomenal crowds for the challenge, especially the one on Saturday. And at both places, parents can come, can turn the kids loose, not worry about them, and it's a great family atmosphere. All right, up next, uh, the coach of our Southwest Mississippi Community College Bears, Coach Lee Kirkendall. Bears are standing at 6-10 and 10 on the season and 0-2 and in South Division play, and Coach says they're hungry. Thank you, Neil. Uh, you weren't referring to just lunch that we're about to have in Brookhaven, right? Hunger, gotcha. Uh, I know uh, Coach Smith uh, talked a little bit again about how much uh, uh, we appreciate the Jason Powell Balls group and also uh, Coca-Cola uh, for helping sponsor this. It's been tremendous. Uh, Coach Jackson and I and our program have been fortunate enough to uh, uh, this will be our sixth year with the program, so sixth year being able to uh, take part in this, uh, uh, this great series. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand is how tight not just this series, but all of our South Division is. Uh, I know Coach Smith and I were talking before we started. Uh, they had uh, two big wins over Pearl River the other day, and uh, at the end of uh, seven innings when it was tied, he said that Coach Hoffpower from Pearl River walked across, and he said, uh, welcome to the South Division, uh, because all of our games are like that. Uh, we did lose uh, uh, two of our games to Hines Community College the other day on the road. That's always tough playing on the road, but both those games were uh, were hard fought and, and, and close uh, up until the last uh, few innings. And um, uh, obviously, any time we play these games, uh, as a lot of people call it, the SEC West of junior college baseball, uh, it usually comes down to one mistake. You know, one team makes one more mistake than the other team, and that makes a difference in the games because uh, all of these programs are good, and uh, all of them have good players and move on to the next level, and it makes for a tremendous, ex exciting college baseball atmosphere. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand about this series is, that, is how tight it's been. Uh, over the first eight years of this series, it's been tied four times, and then each school has won it outright two times. Uh, and if, even if you look at a lot of the scores over the years, uh, very few times uh, uh, has one team uh, you know, beaten the other team more than three or four runs. So they're always close games and, and always decided uh, uh, in the last few innings. So. Uh, we feel good about uh, our team that we have this year. Uh, we started out strong and then uh, have slipped a little bit here the last few games, but uh, nothing like the start of South Division play to get you going again. So, again, we're excited about the, the upcoming season and, of course, excited about uh, starting this rivalry series again on Tuesday. As Neil mentioned, there's always great crowds, whether it's a midweek game or a Saturday game. Uh, we've been fortunate with the crowds that we typically have, but uh, again, as what the, what the Coca-Cola and the Chasing Foul Balls group has done, uh, it just makes the uh, atmosphere around our games that much more and increases the crowds as well. So uh, we're excited about it, and uh, we play Gulf Coast uh, this weekend prior to our Tuesday matchup with Colin, so uh, we'll, we'll be excited to get that one going and, and looking forward to Tuesday. Tuesday. So uh, all of those that are watching, uh, if you can, please come out on Tuesday afternoon. It should be a great crowd. I know we're going to have good weather, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, again, we appreciate uh, being here. Uh, I also want to introduce our players uh, that are here. Uh, on my far left, we've got uh, Logan Farrell. Logan's from Purvis High School. Uh, Kendrick Hodges. Kendrick's a local product uh, from North Pike High School. Anthony Durr, also from North Pike High School. Uh, then we got Colin Carroll from Ridgeland High School. Uh, these are four of our sophomores. Uh, we've got a, a large sophomore group this year, and uh, we're, we've been off for yesterday and, and for this morning. This is our little bit of time off during spring break, so we'll be coming back in uh, late this afternoon for, for practice. So uh, we appreciate these guys taking time out of what uh, little break they have for spring break to come and be part of this press conference. So, uh, again, gentlemen, we appreciate you for uh, putting this on and all the hard work you do behind the scenes. And uh, we're looking forward to Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Well, as Coach Kirkendall says, we're looking forward to Tuesday and then that 
Saturday up at Colin. We want to thank everybody for being here today. Appreciate your participation. Just a couple of reminders when we leave here. Uh, we'll have our Brookhaven uh, press conference at 11.30 at Papa's Fish House. And yes, that is a buffet, and everybody knows what buffet stands for, right? You young guys don't know? Are you ready? Big, ugly, fat folks eating together. And I can say that. <laughs> we hope everybody can go with us. Of course, uh, as with any good meeting, we'll feed you at the buffet. Opening games for the Coca-Cola Classic presented by Powerade is this Tuesday at Southwest, first pitch at 3 o'clock. Games 3 and 4 of the challenge Saturday, April the 12th, so put that on your calendar. First pitch at 2, pictures and interviews will be available right after the press conference. Thanks a lot. As in the past, we've always given these teams out of the table, so go ahead and get one and say, let's get one. Yes, which one of you, uh, Cody and guys, are doing pros and make a lot of money? <laughs> <laughs> I got a daughter at Cody, and that's why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Great line <lying> here. <laughs> Yeah.